call to get reform. We're going to hear from some of our viewers on these issues, and then I want to come back and talk a little bit about uh, your own background and your job as White House Press Secretary. But Ryan is on the phone from Seattle. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Uh, my question uh, might seem a little bit silly, but it's very serious, and I was wondering if you could take it very seriously. Um, there's a there's a, a massive movement right now of hundreds of colonels and ex-CIA officials and Air Force pilots who are demanding that that uh, Obama administration um, live up to its promise of transparency and and let the American truth know, uh, let the American people know the truth about the ex existence of UFOs. Um, uh, Dr. Edgar Mitchell. Um, an American hero who walked on the moon has come out and over the past year had made some uh, statements saying that uh, he had it confirmed to him that that uh, the Roswell crash indeed was was not from this this planet has been visited and the government has been covering it up now during the transition and during your presidency there's been hundreds and thousands of letters that have been mailed uh, to your transition office head led by uh, Tom Podesta and when are you going to will you please um, on behalf of all the citizens and these Americans, um, ask Obama and talk to him about making a statement or addressing this issue. Um, Ryan, we'll get a response. Thank you for the call from Seattle, Robert well, Gibbs. Well, Ryan, I take your, your question seriously, uh, not simply because of the topic, but also because if you're calling from Seattle and it's a little after 7 here, it's a little after 4 in the morning there. Um, look, I, uh, I have... Uh, not been briefed on whether or not there are the existence of UFOs. I haven't talked to the president about this topic. Uh, I know that the president is uh, deeply concerned about ensuring that we have transparency in government and the American people have faith uh, in what its government is trying to do. We'll hear from Celia.